Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Padre Pio of Pietrelcina. We pray in this Mass that like him, we may turn our sufferings into pleasing offerings to God. Let us now be sorry for our many sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty every living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest Padre Pio a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Haggai. 
On the first day of the sixth month, in the second year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehoshadak. Thus says the Lord of hosts, This people says, The time has not yet come to rebuild the house of the Lord. Then this word of the Lord came through Haggai the prophet. Is it time for you to dwell in your own paneled houses while this house lies in ruins? Now thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. You have sown much, but have brought in little. You have eaten, but have not been satisfied. You have drunk, but have not been exhilarated. Have clothed yourselves, but not been warmed. And whoever earned wages, earned them for a bag with holes in it. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Go up into the hill country, bring timber, and build a house, that I may take pleasure in it, and receive my glory, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in His people. The Lord takes delight in His people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with tremble and harp. For the Lord loves His people and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the past few days, we have been reading from the book of Ezra. And the book of Ezra 
was about the return of the Israelites to their own land, especially to Jerusalem after being exiled in Babylon, all because of the magnanimity of King Cyrus of Persia. And as, as soon as they returned to Jerusalem, the first thing that they did was to rebuild the temple. Today, we begin reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. Eighteen years have passed since the time that they returned. And all that they were able to do was to put the foundations, to erect the foundations of the temple. And because of this, the people abandoned the project. The people abandoned building their temple, but instead, they started to build their own houses and were preoccupied with their own lives. That is why God, through the prophet Haggai, spoke to the people. He asked them to continue building the temple. God told them that while they are busy with their own lives, they should also build the temple which gives meaning to their life. For the Israelites, the temple is a symbol of their identity as the people of God. That is why God tells them, build the temple, because if you pursue your own preoccupations, if you pursue your own concerns in life without building the temple, then everything will be useless and meaningless. It is only by recognizing God in your midst, symbolized by the temple, that you could have meaning in your life as God's people. And in order to emphasize what God is telling them, the prophet Haggai even used imageries. It is, he said, if you pursue your own preoccupations and forget God, it is like eating but not being full. It is like drinking and not being satisfied. It is like wearing clothes and not getting warm. It is like earning money, and yet they just go through the holes of your pockets. Ganun daw ang nangyayari kapag tayo'y busy sa ating kanya-kanyang buhay at kinakalimutan natin ang Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, to put God as the priority of our life is a basic responsibility and task of any believer because it is God who will give meaning and fulfillment to everything that we do. Our gospel today is about King Herod. He was so curious about Jesus and Jesus reminds him of John whom he already beheaded. King Herod will forever be remembered in history not because of his desire to build a kingdom for, for himself even to the point of insanity. He will forever be remembered as the king who beheaded John the Baptist. And where is Herod now? Where is his kingdom now? Everything that he worked for 
was in vain. Now, he is totally forgotten except for that one sin that he committed. Why? Because he set God aside. Kapag inisang tabi mo ang Diyos, kapag binaliwala mo ang Diyos, nawawalang saysay din ang lahat ng iyong mga pagsisikap at pagpupunyagi sa buhay. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of a very famous saint, Padre Pio of Pietrelcina, one of the contemporary saints of the church. Many people went to San Giovanni Rotondo in Italy in order to see Padre Pio, to listen to him, to attend his masses, and to go to confession. And you know, even after Padre Pio's death, many people would, would still go to San Giovanni Rotondo, and many people have devotion to Padre Pio because of the power of his intercession. In 2018, October of 2018, we were privileged to welcome here in the Manila Cathedral the heart relic of Padre Pio. For three days, his heart was here. And we were surprised at the many people who came. Those three days, people would line up for hours, even five, six hours, just to have a few seconds before his heart relic. Nagulat po talaga kami na napakaraming tao ang nais lumapit at magdasal kay Padre Pio. After this Mass in our Facebook page, you will see some video clips of that visit, memorable visit of the heart relic of Padre Pio here in the Manila Cathedral. But you know, Padre Pio was just an ordinary friar. Aside from the stigmata that he bore in his body, Padre Pio was just an ordinary priest. And he would always say that, that he wants only to be a poor friar, friar that prays. And because of his ordinariness, he exudes holiness, all because everything that he did, he put God as priority. And so because God is on top of everything in his life, then everything in his life had meaning and everything in his life became beneficial for other people. And that is also the lesson that Padre Pio would constantly teach us. To put our trust in God, to love God, and to make God the priority of our lives. My dear brothers and sisters, let this be the lesson that we take today from our readings and from Padre Pio. All the efforts, all our efforts will be in vain if we do not have faith. Kapag binaliwala natin ng Diyos, ang lahat ng ating pagsisikap at pagpupunyagi, mababaliwala din. Kapag binaliwala natin ng Diyos, sabi nga ni Propeta Hagay, para tayong kumain pero hindi nabubusog, uminom pero hindi napapatid ang ating uhaw, nagdamit pero hindi nainitan, kumita ng pera pero lumusot din sa butas ng bulsa. Baliwala ang lahat. And so today, as we start this new day, 
as we take on our works, our responsibilities, as we face the many challenges of the day, let us not forget God. Let us always remember God. Let us include God in the concerns of daily life because only God can give meaning and fulfillment to everything that we do. We are aware that there is much evil in the world because Jesus has overcome evil by his death and resurrection. We ask God that goodness may be victorious. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That nations may give up the senseless race to have more powerful weapons of war, and that they instead learn to live together in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who are persecuted because of their beliefs may succeed in winning their freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the pandemic that the sick be healed, especially our beloved Archbishop Jose, that those who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the many people we promised to pray for and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, keep healing us from all evil and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Padre Pio, so that as you brought him to glory, you may, through the sacred mysteries, Grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Padre Pio, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed Padre Pio, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ah. Uh -huh.
aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon 